Welcome to another video from Game Dev Bits. I'm Tim. Now today we're going to dive in and we're going to tackle adding some terrain details onto our terrain. So what we want to do is select our terrain and then jump into the terrain details. All right, here we go. No detail objects defined. So let's go edit details. We can either choose to add a grass texture, which will be used as a two dimensional billboard that rotates to face the camera or a detail mesh. So let's start with a grass texture. And now it'll ask us to choose for these. So what we want to do is jump in here, grass. Let's go with grass number two. Now what we can set here is the minimum and maximum width. That's how far they will be from the defaults. So that seems like a pretty good range. And our height, we've got one to two. So let's go with 2.5 just to bring that up. And then the noise spread is how much these colors change. So instead of having a single flat color, the color will actually spread out and alter between both. So let's have a look. Let's just grab this and say we want to go from this color here. Then let's set the same color. Let's add our grass and now let's have a look. Let's make ourselves nice and small. And we're ready to paint some grass in. Here we go. Now all of our grass is the same color, but you'll notice as we move around, the grass stays facing the camera. So you generally don't notice it much, but it saves a lot on poly. So let's just get rid of these. Let's change our opacity. All right, here we go, wipe them out. So let's go back into our terrain, edit details, edit. Okay, so what we actually want here is we want a nice dark green. And then for our dry color, let's bring that cross into the yellow. Perfect. All right, let's paint him. Let's bring our opacity back down so we're not doing too much at once. You see now we've got variety in our grass color. Now, if we bring our opacity all the way up, we can paint that grass in and you can see this is how much grass we've got. So there's gaps, it's a little bit patchy. So what we can do is, now remember all of these decisions are always based on performance. We can jump across into our terrain settings and what we wanna do is go down here and we've got our detail resolution per patch and our detail resolution. So if we bring our detail resolution per patch, let's bring that up to three times as much. Now obviously our grass has moved because we've changed the, the resolution of the, the mesh. So now let's go into our terrain details, select our grass again. You can see down here versus on the hill, our grass is closer together. We can change that a little more if we want. So let's go back over here. So now if we come back down to here, now we can change our settings. Nice and simply, just think of detail patches like a checkerboard. This is the number of cells available across the whole terrain. Uh, detail resolution is how many tiles we want to place across the whole terrain, and that's what affects how we place things like our grass here. Detail resolution per patch is a little bit simpler. That's just how many of those tiles we draw at once. It'll always be a divisor of the detail resolution, and it just saves on those draw calls, but it does make them a little bit heavier, so you need to find the right balance for those. And there we go. There's a bunch of grass, nice and dense, and ready to get drawn all at once. Now let's add another type of grass. Let's go grass, add a detail mesh. We'll bring our grass in again. Back to our nature pack. And let's have a look. There we go, there's some poly grass. So let's drop the poly grass in. Now you can choose to render it as grass or vertex lit. Vertex lit grass is a little bit heavier. It just means each blade of grass will be lit based on its own normals and it's not going to move with the wind. If you choose the normal grass lit mode, it'll light things based on the normals of the terrain underneath and include things like wind support. Let's add it. Select our terrain again. Here we go. Let's grab him. And that's actually adding in those solid meshes. But our vertex colors haven't been set. So our color is a little bit off, but we can cover that off in another video. But there we go. Here's there's how to add two different types of grass. We've got our 
our grass as our billboards, and then we've got our mesh. So let's just go back to some more grass up here. Looking good. As you can see, the grass disappears when we are far away. So to save how much we're rendering at once, you can actually change those settings. But for now, that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, a huge thanks to my patrons for making all this possible.